Is that Aisha? Question? Yes. Um, chapter 8, verse 26. Yes. Um, your pupil is really <coughs> quite advanced now, eh? <laughs> And beware of an affliction which will surely not smite exclusively those among you who have done wrong and know that Allah is swear in requiting. A very strange coincidence that you have asked a question which is directly related to what I was saying years before. But first, translate the question in this. You see the manifestations of God, to which your question referred, and in my answer I said some manifestations are awesome. They, they inspire all so much that though no difference is that between mankind and animal life. Everything living becomes odd and doesn't know what to do. During such manifestations of Allah, unless some beloved of God is told in advance, these manifestations do not dis dis distinguish between good and bad and evil and pious. All are carried away. So the Holy Quran warns you against such manifestations. Why does it fall if it doesn't matter anyway? That is the question. In such manifestations we see these storms and these earthquakes do not make any distinction, distinction between pious and unpious. So why does Allah warn us of that? It in fact draws our attention to another phenomenon. And although these overwhelming expressions of nature have no eyes to distinguish, but if the pious people of Allah turn to Him, then He can see to it that they are spared. So the punishment in itself is uh, all pervasive. It covers everything. But amazingly, miracles do happen. And miracles happen in case of those who pray to Allah. So this is an indication. I mean, this is a pointer at the importance of prayers at such times. If people seek Allah's shelter, that shelter can still be provided them doing these storms and things, we do not spare. Still, still people are amazingly left intact. We don't know what they had done, but this verse reminds us that probably they remembered Allah and they prayed to Him. Like the people who were in the boat and the soft, lovely winds turned into a storm which would not spare anything. That, that this thing has been mentioned in the Quran. When the people of the boat said, Allah, Allah, He turned to them with mercy. So these are the times when the bad and the good are not differentiated, are not discriminated against. Everyone is in the same situation, only Allah's special mercy can save. Also, it's a broad message delivered to mankind, reminding them of what happened at the time of Noah. These storms would not spare anyone. But when a prophet of Allah has come, if you believe in him and you submit to the message he receives from Allah, then sometimes Allah shows this miracle to the whole world. That His manifestation is overwhelming. 
yet people who belong to him are saved in a manner that is never witnessed before. They're told ahead of time what they should do. Like the boat or the Ark of Noah was built long before the storm came. And it was built under direct instructions from Allah. So these things happen. And this verse is a reminder that beware of such a punishment from Allah. If you're not beware and if you not take measures in time, remedial measures, to save yourself by winning the favor of Allah, then at such time, even if you're ordinarily good person, normally speaking, good and bad, all will be inundated and destroyed. Got it? The real question is, yes. <clears throat>